Hey guys, so today I thought it would be interesting to do a video about my multiple PC setups along with my gaming setups so you guys can see how an absolute mad lad like myself who owns over 30 computers lives on a day-to-day -day basis. It's time to get jealous guys because let's fucking do this. Oh yeah. So when you walk into the apartment, first impressions. Cable management. Yeah, I do like to th keep things pretty clean. And you see this computer, these two computers right here. Good first impression. You walk in and let me introduce you to one of my most important computers. Her name is Pi Zuri. And if you know what Pi Zuri is, you are a man or a woman of culture. Oh yeah. So Pi Zuri acts as my network drive holds all my anime, music, and any miscellaneous important files that I deem important to be on the network. Originally, Pizuri was running Windows 8.1, and as you guys know, Windows 8.1 is my main OS. I won't be saying that for that much longer because it has about two months left of support. I'm recording this on November 26, and this will probably up be uploaded sometime in the new year. By then, my main OS is probably going to be Windows 11. But anyway, Dell Plex 380, pretty low specs. All it does is sit on the network all day. It can also double as a PS3 media server. It's pretty good. Next to Pi Zuri, I have a Windows 98 Era Aptiva. Oh yeah. This Aptiva is pretty cool because it has a built-in speaker. So, go right here. No need to buy a speaker when you buy this IBM Aptiva. And this speaker is actually not bad. So, got a nice patio table. I actually went dumpster diving for this table because I really needed another computer desk. But I was not willing to spend like however much money a computer desk costs. That's absolutely ridiculous and out of the question. But I got some nice stuff because I am a man of class. All right. So I got these nice official Inuyasha mouse pads. And the thing about a lot of Japanese mouse pads is that they're actually smaller than North American mouse pads. So here's a regular uh, American mouse pad. And we put the Japanese one on top. Yeah. But regardless, these mouse pads are legit. They're actually official mouse pads from Japan. Can't argue with that. IBM ball mouse right here. And with most of my PC builds, or when I'm putting back together these old computers, I want everything to match. Like, I want everything to be IBM. The only exception is the network drive, where it has some generic uh, keyboard, but it does have a Dell mouse, but it has an Asus monitor. So, eventually I'll have to fix that up. Alright, so moving on to the kitchen PC setup. Yep, computers in the kitchen. Yeah. Now, I will say, I do cook a lot, and I have a palate as sophisticated as Gordon Ramsay and Marco Pierre White, all right? And when I want to make food, I need to indulge in media. So I, here I have the IBM ThinkPad 380XD, and the reason that this computer is here is because of this. Look at those speakers, plop in a CD, and those speakers are the best speakers I've ever seen on a laptop. Perfection right there. I can cook for hours with this thing on. If I want to listen to a podcast or anything modern when I'm cooking, then I'll turn on the T450S. This is the newest ThinkPad that I have. It's from 2015, running Windows 8.1. This one will probably get upgraded to Windows 10, but it, look, it has an IPS display, 1080p, and with the Windows 8 theme that I have, Look at the transparency. It looks so beautiful. Oh, I'm gonna miss this. It looks so freaking good. Oh, man. This one's running Windows 98 Second Edition, as well the Aptiva is also running it. Uh, one thing about the Aptiva actually is that the CRT monitor, although it looks bright on here, I actually applied some window settings to make it look brighter than it actually is. Unfortunately, the CRT monitor is getting dim. Such a tragedy. All right. Next is the gaming PC that I don't really use that often. All right, as you guys know, I am a console gamer and I only really play games maybe like once a week, maybe once every two weeks, you know, pretty off and on. 
Uh, the graphics card, if you're curious, is a GTX 960. It's pretty good. You can play the most modern games. But honestly, the extent of gaming that I do on this computer is Dolphin and other emulators. That's what I do. Anyway, moving on. It's not even hooked up, like... I don't even have, like, a decade monitor or anything for it. What I'll do is I'll just take the monitor from Pizuri, put it on the dinner table, and just do that. All right. Now I got some consoles. No. I got the good stuff, all right. Got Sega Saturn right here. You just have to have one. PS1. I mean, can't go wrong with the PS1. I got the original PS1 controller, by the way. Oh, yeah. Get on my level, guys. And a Sega Master System. I mean... A lot of great memories playing the Sonic games on the Master System. Sonic Chaos, um, Sonic 1 and 2, oh my god, it's so freaking good. But now on to the main attraction. Yeah, get ready for this guys. Actually move this thing out of the way first. My main computer. Yeah, the W701DS in all of its glory. The greatest ThinkPad ever made. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. So beautiful. For running Windows 8.1. Again, this one will have to be upgraded pretty soon. And it got matching Lenovo mouse. Oh, yeah. And official Sakura Tyson mouse pad. I get all that official shit from Japan because that's the way I am. I am a man of high standards and none of this imitation or knockoff or bootleg crap. Not in my living room, hell no. You gotta get all the good shit. Yeah. Unfortunately with the W71DS, the battery shit the bed, so it's flashing. Oh my god, and there's no replacement batteries anywhere on the internet. That sucks. But then again, this thing's always like planted on the dinner table. I don't really move this thing, so it's not a big deal. I probably won't buy a new battery. And this is where I spend a lot of my time. I, um, what I mostly do on computers, I type up documents. I make a little like light novels. Here's like some of my MS Paint quality art. I think it's pretty good for MS Paint quality. There we go. And I, for filters, I just use Microsoft PowerPoint add-in filters. Yeah. Over here, we got uh, Sakura from Shin Sakura Tyson. Not really into anime figures, but I saw this. I'm just like, I have to have this. As well as my dinner table. Got it for free. Got it handed down to me. Yeah. Because I do not believe in buying furniture, all right? I don't believe in buying furniture or utensils or any of that stuff. All my plates, all my cooking supplies, all that stuff, either got from family and friends. You got to know the right people, all right? And you can save a buttload of money. Don't go to fucking Ikea or wherever people go and spend like $2,000 on crap. You can have a bomb ass setup and you can don't have to spend anything. I spent fucking zilch on this furniture. And it's fucking great. It's fucking comfortable. And I've had no complaints from guests. Fucking A. Alright. Now we'll move on to the dream build itself. Oh my god. My IBM Dream Build. If you haven't seen the three-part multi-series, do it. It's a freaking adventure, and you may learn a few things. But, you know, IBM Aptiva, IBM branded floppy disks, IBM speakers, IBM Model M, IBM Monitor, IBM Mouse, and to top it off, IBM OS2 Warp version 4. You can't get any more IBM than this. I mean, I guess maybe if I got an IBM mouse pad, but this Sakura Tyson mouse pad, again, an official mouse pad, you know, me and this mouse pad, we go back. You know, it's, it's very special, and it's worthy of being part of my dream build. This chair I got for free from one of my old roommates, but this desk is the one piece of furniture in my living room that I did buy. When I was 22, I was a stupid idiot. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna buy a whole bunch of brand new furniture. It's gonna be crazy. We're fully furnished my place. And then when I like bought it, I'm just like, what the fuck am I doing? Wasting all this money when I could just sit on the goddamn floor. You gotta know the right people, guys. You know, you gotta be social. You gotta know the right people. And then you can get all the good shit. 
I mean, that's how I get a lot of the shit. Like, a lot of the shit I get for fucking free. Okay, like computer hard drives and all that shit for free. All right, so go down here. Here is the pile of IT crap. This is the bulk of my IT supplies and tools. All right, so we got the hard drive dock right here. I use that to, you know, clone regular hard drives to SSDs. Comes in handy quite a bit. Got my external drives right here, three of them. Um, movie hard drive that my friend gave to me. Um, three SAS drives right here because I got an IBM server tower. Now, originally I wanted to install Server 2019 on here for it to replace Pizuri. But Server 2019, for whatever reason, doesn't work on this. I, it might be some weird incompatibility, but every single time when I try to run the installer, the drives just put themselves offline. I went into command prompt, put them online manually, but they always just turn themselves off. Tried out Server 2008 R2, and it worked instantly, which was a big slap in the face. God damn it. So, I have some plans for this. I'm gonna do something non-Windows for this server. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, so I try to keep this pretty organized. So router, we got computer mice in here, more networking equipment, flashcards. Um, pretty sure there's a motherboard in this box and there's more motherboards in here. Um, I try to keep the boxes for everything. So we got SSD boxes, uh, graphics card boxed, T410 batteries, 380 batteries, um, and here I got a bunch of processors and RAM, so like, you know, Pentium 3s, uh, where, where is it, where is the good one, yeah, yeah, I got it, Pentium 1, got some DDR2, the best form of memory, 1 gig, sometimes that's all I need. And here I got a miscellaneous box full of like sound cards, networking cards, floppy drives, cables. Oh yeah, pretty good. And this box right here, display cables, HDMI, VGA, DVI, all that crap. Got about like 70 computer hard drives. A lot of them I get at, from friends. Um, like sometimes one of my friends, he just dropped off like 20 blank hard drives. He's like, I don't need these. I'm just like, great. Um, all my power supplies, so the many laptop chargers and any power cables that I need. Screwdriver set, KVM, pretty nice KVM. Yeah, oh and by the way, you thought I was hardcore about IBM stuff? IBM power bar bitch, get jealous. All right, so the full desk tour. What's on the other side of the desk? All right, so we got Erica from Sakura Tyson 4. We got my music CD collection. I absolutely hate CDs and I always rant about them, but here's all the many CDs I have. It's probably around 200 CDs. Yeah, but seeing my videos, you know, like Mariko Nagai's music makes appearances in quite a few of my videos. Use her music for like the CD test. Come and get in there. As well, I got like Final Fantasy Anthology right here. I, I listen to the soundtrack on this every once in a while. Yeah, it's pretty good. And then down here, we got some more stuff. So the uh, Japanese Aptiva keyboard right here. It's pretty crap, not gonna lie. And then we got my, uh, another Aptiva. Pretty much the only use for this one I have is that I use it for DOS games. Uh, the Windows 98 Aptiva right there, it has a sound card that's not compatible with DOS. So I really only use it for like, when I need a Windows 98 desktop, which sometimes I'm just in the mood. You know, you gotta go back in the 90s sometimes. You know, you just feel it. You know, when you plop in that music CD, you go on IRC, it's just like, yeah. Something about this just feels right. Okay, so this Aptiva, it has Windows Me on it. Um, and it's, you know, when I wanna play the odd DOS game like Doom or maybe a visual novel or something, I'll use this computer. Um, doesn't get that much use, but still a pretty damn good Aptiva. And then, uh, ThinkPad that I, you've never seen in my videos, this is a 755CX. I've actually had this for a long time, um, but it's a just purely a part, parts machine. I've never been able to get this thing to work, and I took it all apart. Box 3DO, oh yeah. This was a drunken purchase on Yahoo Auctions, and at one point I was like, should I sell this? Should I? 
now I'm gonna keep it. I poured this money into it. I'd be taking a loss on it anyway. And it's got everything, the documentation. Oh my God, it's so good. Sega Masters in box. I'm a completionist. Whenever I'm buying a game or a console, 95% of the time I need the box. All right, so you probably noticed that, yes, I am quite a big anime fan, all right? Because the posters, they go with that aesthetic. This nice aesthetic that I'm trying to do, I fucking nailed it, all right? It's fucking amazing. Like, you got fucking uh, Ceres from Ayashi no Ceres here, and just like these fucking anime posters, it fits with the fucking theme. And with the quality of the video, you know, I can, I can trick you guys, making like, hey, this is from like the early 2000s or the 90s, you know, blah, 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 blah. You know, I'm just not using VHS. Anyway, let's go through the posters. All right, so there is a couple modern posters intermixed in here, and I'll point them out. All right, so we got Idol Boy Tai Hummingbird. It's actually a pretty decent anime. The first episode I watched, I was just like, what the fuck is this? But pretty decent. There's actually some pretty good songs in that. Fushigi Yugi. Hell yeah. Oh, I watched this in high school, and fuck yeah, it is so fucking good. They don't make anime like this anymore. It's... You know, from my favorite mangaka of all time, Yuataze, her artwork is so fucking good. But she's not making any manga anymore. Such a shame. Um, Sakura Tyson 5. This is a modern anime poster from like 2008, I'd like to say. Alright, and this one came with the game. Going over here, we got Imadoki. This is actually the newest anime poster on... Well, not kind of but for the whole lot right here, this is the newest anime poster. It's from 2000. Pretty fucking good. We got Shishunki Mimo Okotowai. Damn, that's a nice fucking poster. Fucking good. Then we got Homa Hunter Raimu. Fucking good. English title Jewel Hunter Lime. Oh, look at that hair. Look at that fucking character design. Oh, yeah. That is what I call aesthetically pleasing to my eyes. Um, Sakura Tyson 2 and Sakura Tyson 1. These came out of. Um, the original Saturn game, pretty good. Then we got my favorite anime of all time, Kamikaze Kaito Jun. Um, then we got Karashi Kanonjo no Jijo, fucking good anime. Then we got Kyakusei. If you guys are familiar with PC-98 games, you may recognize this. Um, the anime itself is okay, it's not really my thing, it's like a fucking high school shit. I'm not really into like the whole fucking high school anime thing, as you're about to see. Anyway. On to the next side of my living room, where we got the software. Okay, so it's nowhere near as impressive as like an LJR, LGR or like um, anyone you see on YouTube, but I still have some relatively, relatively uncommon crap. All right, so let's go right here. So Red Spine Edition of Warp 3, um, these are pretty common. You can find them sealed for like 50 bucks. No one really wants them. I bought this one, I didn't know about the whole blue seal, red seal thing. Fucking dumb. But yeah, that, that's, a, that's a video for another day. Uh, Warp version 4. This is actually very hard to find. And when I did find it on eBay, I considered myself pretty lucky. Um, just because they're very difficult to find. Uh, on a given year, maybe like four or five might go on eBay, and that's about it. Like, I was continuously searching, like, just pretty much every week to find a copy of this. Um, Office 4.2 and the Office Cube. Oh my god. So many floppies. We got Windows 95 and IME 97 floppy disk edition. Yeah, you can tell because you got the CD-ROM logo and then we got the floppy one. Always wanted Windows 95 on floppy disk. We got NT4, NT4 Server, Office 97, and Front Page 98. These four right here, you can find this for fucking dirt cheap. Like, 40 bucks, still sealed. Like, people are just dumping this crap like nobody fucking wants it i bought all these sealed for like what like fucking hardly anything even on ebay they're cheap okay sakura tyson mouse pad a very small mouse pad then we got ibm pc dos right here unfortunately all the floppies for these died this came with the 330c <sighs> i tested them all and they're all they all don't work what a tragedy um, spare hard drive for the 755 series of ThinkPads. Got a CMOS battery right here, random CDs, and some of the software up on the top. Okay, time for a look on the software on the top. We got OneNote 2003. We got the documentation for OneNote 2003. Um, 
Dell Resource Media, Visual Studio, um, I think, yeah, 2012. What is this one? This one is Windows 10. This one was a gift. Server 2019, Windows XP, and more Windows XP. All right, so go down, got some more software. All right, so this is where it gets kind of good. Um, we got Windows 2000, this is pretty easy to find. Office 2000, pretty easy to find. Windows Me Full Edition. Now this is actually surprisingly difficult to find. You can find the upgrade edition, you can find the blue box edition pretty easily, but the full edition is pretty elusive. And, and you know, I was perusing eBay, perusing Yahoo Auctions, finally found a copy and consider myself quite lucky to get it for a reasonable price. It's pretty good. All right, so put that back in there. We got Windows XP upgrade edition. This one was a gift. Um, Windows 3.1 for the uh, ThinkPad 330C. Uh, my many Office licenses, Windows 10 Home, that was a gift. Um, Office 95, Office 2003 upgrade. We got Soccer Tyson 4 PC edition. Soccer Tyson 3, I absolutely love that Soccer Tyson 3 has this massive, massive box that comes on three CDs. And then the fourth game comes in this like really cheaply made um, DVD case. Like, yeah, that's, that's perfect. Th like this one came with like a music um, thing as well. Like I'll show you real quick. Comes with like this little music box. Nice bonus. Fourth one doesn't come with anything. At least the one that I have. Um, my Saturn game, so we got Soccer Tyson. Here's the original. Oh yeah, look at that. Pristine. The second one though, yeah, not as pristine. Sakura Tyson 2, Sonic R, the best Sonic game of all time, Dead or Alive, oh yeah, now we're freaking talking. And then we got other interesting ones like Puyo Puyo, Puyo Puyo Sun, Sentimental Graffiti, uh, Kyakusei, that one is a PC-98 port. Cool thing about the Saturn is that it has so many PC-98 games, but I am considering uh, maybe getting the PC-98, I mean, like, maybe. Uh, 3DO games, um, don't have many of them, but I want to get, like, there's a certain 3DO series I want to get, is called Emit, where it's an English visual novel, it seems pretty interesting. Um, we got four, like, 90s era ThinkPads, so it's pretty dark here, but anyway, uh, 355, um, 365 XD, 330C, and 755, you guys have seen all of those, um, but I have accumulated more ThinkPads since that video. So anyway, as you've seen in some of my videos, the ThinkPads used to go all the way across the living room, but I condensed it quite a bit. So we got, right here, it's two T23s, two T43s, R60, T60, T61, R61, T410. We got a 380 series right there. We got the I series. Uh, Latitude, Dell Latitude E5430. Now this is actually a really good laptop, and this will be making an appearance in a future video. I'm gonna try and branch out to other operating systems that I haven't tried before. And here's my other 380s. So we got a 385 ED. This one's pretty much in fucking mint condition. Really good. Let's open it up. Look at that. Looking good. Hell yeah. 380E. Oh, me and that one go way, way back. And it still needs a new hard drive. Uh, 390E, now this one is an interesting one, okay? Because it improves in some ways over the 380, but in other ways it kind of falls short. I want to make a video about this one because it almost qualifies for what I think to be the best IBM ThinkPad ever made. It's going to be an interesting video. I'm going to put this one up against the 380 XD. Dell Latitude 1120. No, Latitude, Inspiron. What am I saying? Inspiron 1120. Me and this one, we go way back. This one's very... Very special. Got the original box, an i-series box, and IBM server box. Oh yeah. And then the anime posters right here. So we got Senjo no Valkyria, one and two. Taiho Shichaozo. Oh yeah, I fucking love this anime. Fucking police anime, oh fuck yeah. You wanna know why? Because it ain't fucking high school shit and it has a fucking full adult cast. Fuck high school anime. Fuck that shit. And fuck those like, it's just so many. It gets so fucking, like, you know, once I, you know, I'm getting fucking older, okay? And do I wanna fucking watch high school shit? Do I really, no, fuck no, fuck that shit. Stuff like this, fucking top tier fucking anime right here. Then we got 
Kyuketsu Hime Miyu, fucking good. You know, the OVA is so fucking good. I fucking love the OVAs. But the anime is pretty damn good as well. Highly recommend all these series right here. Valkyria Chronicles, my favorite game series of all time now. So fucking good. We need a Valkyria Chronicles 5. Like, right now. And, oh, man. Look at, look at the fucking artwork. And the one thing about, like, I've noticed about a lot of Japanese posters, it doesn't matter what show it is. Pretty much all of the posters are all standardized in their size. And it looks fucking great on my wall. I mean, just look at this. Look at this, man. All fucking good. Alrighty, so let's move on to the game room, which also doubles up as my bedroom. Yep. <laughs> so let's go in. Alright, so I'll show you the view. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, this is it. I sit down right here, and this is where I game. Yeah. Now, one of my friends makes fun of me for, like, you know, I have a 4K Sony Bravia on the goddamn floor. But it's comfy as fuck, man. So fucking good. Um, let's turn this fucking TV on. Now, one thing I hate about this fucking TV is it got fucking apps and shit. It's like, fuck you, man. Like, why the fuck is, like, there's Android... First off, fuck Android. I fucking hate Android. And, like, it's fucking operating system on goddamn TV. It takes fucking an eternity to turn on. It's fucking bullshit. Anyway, I, like, I just, I don't use any of those fucking apps because there's, like, ads on YouTube and all that bullshit. So, like, I just connect my Acer Aspire via HDMI to this, and it looks great. Again, running Windows 8.1. I like my Windows 8. Or do I? I mean, honestly, just like a year ago, all of this was running Windows 7. So, I know, I mean, two years ago now. Jesus Christ, it's been two fucking years. Anyway, so, main systems right here. We got Nintendo Switch, my main console right now. PS4 Pro, eh, it's pretty good. Actually, scratch that. Um, the, the only reason I got the PS4 was for Shin Sakura Tyson. If it wasn't for that, I would not be owning a PS4. Um, the PS4 really changed how I felt about Sony. Um, just, I don't know, their new leadership just... Sony became something that... It's not the Sony that I grew up with, basically. Uh, PS Triple... Phenomenal console. I can't go wrong with a fucking PS Triple. So many great games. Absolutely amazing. Fucking good. But here's the thing. With Sony, like... If I don't have to buy a PS5, I'm not gonna do it. Because the direction that they're going is just... Not good. Really isn't. I'm gonna... You know, I'm a, I used to be a huge, huge Sony fanboy. But now I pretty much switched to Nintendo. Never thought I'd be saying that. Yeah, I got a virtual boy. Get fucking jealous, guys. I got a freaking virtual boy. And also, with the box. Yeah, complete inbox virtual boy. With Wario Land. Yeah, yeah, I got it. And it's true what they say, it does hurt your eyes. Oh, God. You know, this is kind of like the precursor to the Wii U controller where we're having like the two D-pads at the top. I always felt it weird in Nintendo having like two analog sticks at the top. It just doesn't fucking work. Um, I like to keep the boxes to my stuff. I like to keep it as complete as possible. It always comes in handy. So we got the Switch box, um, Switch Pro controller box, um, Soccer Tyson Erica figure box, uh, Virtual Boy box, PS1, Saturn, Game Gear, PS Vita, DS, and then for some of the special editions of the games, we got Color Malice. Uh, Soccer Tyson 5 or Soccer Wars So Long My Love this is actually the rarest game that I own. It's going up in price quite a bit. Uh, it goes for like 150 bucks now, I'm pretty sure. And a Keepa Strip 10th Anniversary Edition. Alright. Moving on to the actual... Actually, no, one more thing. So, people get at me also for not having a cordless mouse. I just have this generic Microsoft mouse. It reaches. It's pretty good. And that's all you need, guys. Surface Pro 3 right there, pretty good. Um, the reason I got a Surface Pro 3 is just to be using my phone less. Kind of a stupid reason, but yeah. All right, the games. The fucking games. This, I'm gonna just point out some noteworthy games and just how I feel about certain consoles and stuff. Okay, so Switch games, got quite a few Switch games. But the thing with me, I didn't buy any games this year. Didn't spend any money. 
Um, I had these credits at a game store, and I picked up like three games, and I'll point those ones out later. But anyway, um, so noteworthy games for the Switch. Dead or Alive Extreme 3, I just had to have it. I mean, I mistakenly bought the Taiwanese edition, but it switches to English, Japanese, and Taiwanese, and I think it even has Korean in it as well. So, must-have game. <laughs> yeah. And then we got uh, Fatal Frame Made in the Black Water, or Zero. Pretty good. Um, I actually, I got a really good deal on this. Some guy on eBay was selling this for 40 bucks, or no, $45, and it just came out. I'm just like, there's no way this is legit. I checked the feedback on eBay. It was all 100%, no complaints at all. I'm just like, you know what? I'll take a fucking gamble. And it paid off. It's fucking real. I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, you know, I'm a pro at this shit. Um... Master System games, we got Psychic World, which is pretty much like the only like anime related game I could find other than like, you know, I guess if you count Fantasy Star or something. Um, Sonic 2, Sonic Chaos, or Sonic and Tails, Space Harrier, Afterburner, we got a Virtual Boy game here, some Game Gear games, uh, Dare Live Extreme 3, Sonic Triple Trouble, the best Sonic game ever made, or Sonic and Tails 2, fucking good, big part of my childhood, oh my god, so fucking good. PS2 games right here. My PS2 is packed away because it's it scratches the game, so I don't use it anymore. Um, so as you can see, Fatal Frame Trilogy. This is the only time where the North American title is actually better than the Japanese title. Uh, Soccer Tyson Five, Namco Museum. Got quite a few Namco games here. The shitty Crash Bandicoot games. Uh, I mean, Crash Nitro Kart's kind of decent. Twin Sanity is kind of decent. Um, Gran Turismo Three, uh, Shadow the Hedgehog, Spyro. I wasted so much time when I was younger on these Need for Speed games, and I regret it so badly now because I overlooked so many great games when I was a kid. But, you know, I'm smarter now, so finally get into all these. Uh, PS4 games, as you notice, I don't have that, have that many PS4 games. Um, Shamu 1 and 2, 3, and Near Replicon I picked up this year for free uh, credits at the game store. But other than that, like, you know, PS4, I could have gotten pretty much all these games on, like, other systems. Um, Code Realize I'm looking forward to, uh, Shantae, um, Shin Sakura Tyson, the reason I got the PS4, and Valkyria Chronicles 4, which I think is probably the best game on the PS4. It's so fucking good, man. Like, my controller's right here, I even got, like, the Valkyria Chronicles 4 skin on the controller. Here's my Switch Pro controller, oh my god. Alright, so moving down, we got Sega Game Gear right here, I mean, great handheld, oh my god, so good. Uh, PS Vita. Eventually, I will make a PS Vita video because on YouTube, the Vita gets so much praise for whatever goddamn reason. The Vita was not a good handheld, okay? And I will speak the truth of that, and that's coming in a video next year. I bought all these exclusive games, I take a look at them, and there ain't much, you know, of value on the PS Vita. I'm sorry. It's the fucking truth. It failed for a reason. Sorry, guys. But then... My, one of my favorite handhelds, or probably my favorite handheld, honestly, the DS. Hell yeah, this is where it gets good. My favorite games on the DS, definitely the Mario and Sonic games, fucking good. But other noteworthy titles I got, you know, Super Princess Peach, Diddy Kong Racing, uh, Crash Boom Bang's a fucking piece of shit. Sonic Rush, supremely overrated, but like, so many great memories on the DS. Mario 64, like, oh my god. Also, if you're curious about my manga, Got some pretty like good ones like Shishinki Mimono Okotawai, uh, Yami no Purple Eye, uh, this one right here. This is fucking good. We got Umi no Yami, Tsuki no Kage, the OVA for this. Oh my fucking god, it is so good. It's pretty much fucking perfect. But the only problem is it's only fucking three episodes for an 18 volume manga. Such a tragedy. It's so fucking good. Like, oh my god. Like, if they wanted to make a fucking remake of the fucking whole series in anime, I would fucking fund that GoFundMe so fucking fast. I would fucking put in, like, a thousand bucks. Jesus, it's so fucking good, man. Highly, highly, highly recommend. You gotta fucking see this. It's so fucking good. Not even joking. Um, PS Triple Games. Like with the PS2, I, unfortunately, I overlooked so many great games because I just wanted to play Call of Duty all fucking day. But, again, when I got older, I finally got to appreciate a lot of games um so valkyria chronicles best game on the ps3 in my opinion 
Sonic 06, real piece of heaven right there. Mercenaries, um, this is an EA game, and I hate EA, but this is actually really, really fucking good. Like, one of my favorites. Um, other than noteworthy games, Guard 3, one of those weird blue PS3 games. Uh, F1 Championship Edition, fucking classic, man. Um, moving down, we got some more manga. We got Venus wa Katoa Moi. This is fucking good. This is really fucking good. It starts off kind of slow, but like it's a college romance and it's such a breath of fucking fresh air. College romance, there ain't enough of those in fucking anime. Holy fuck, this needs to be an anime and this is so fucking good. Um, PS1 games, so no noteworthy really PS1 games. Uh, Bubsy 3D, of course I fucking have it. Um, Spyro the Dragon Trilogy. You no know, childhood right here and this one i'm not upset about because these were fucking amazing games but do i really care about spiral dragon anymore no unfortunately it's a fucking dead series such a shame crash bandicoot games right here just like spiral a lot of great memories um inuyasha fighting game where is it i oh, hear sorry wrong one there we go pretty good and that's about it yeah, so I had to retake this video because my new phone, the camera, although it looks nicer, it has no pop filter and it pops like crazy. It's ridiculous. It's like, what the heck? Like, we're advancing in technology, but like, I still gotta use this old freaking phone from like 2013 to do my videos. So, yeah, pretty good. You know, got all the nice crap. You know. I'm pretty much jealous of myself at this point. Just like how well I crafted this room. Oh man. This is class. This is nice. Huh. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this. And I hope to see more of your guys' like, you know, retro PC setups or PC tours or gaming setups. I absolutely love stuff like this. And anyway, more videos coming to a ThinkPads and IBM related stuff coming soon.